Welcome to Welland Barn on Kirby Road in Gretton. This stone-built barn was extended in the 1950s to become a sewing factory and then in 2004 was turned into residential accommodation and now creates a really unique home with the most beautiful gardens and I can't wait to show you around. The glazed front door opens into this bright hallway with tiles and underfloor heating and a door to the right leads into the kitchen and living room so follow me and I'll show you that. This impactful room is really bright with its vaulted ceiling and run of roof lights that run along the length of the room um, and with those French doors that open onto the decking area makes this the ideal spot for your dining table and the kitchen at the end of the room is really well equipped to include a built-in dishwasher and fridge. You've also got electric ovens with gas hobs and then to the side of the kitchen you've also got a utility room. But now let's take a look at the sitting room. Glazed double doors from the kitchen lead into this elegant and spacious sitting room with that focal point in here being that beautiful wood burner. You've also got French windows that open onto the decking area in the garden and another window on that side aspect. This is a really very nice and spacious room and another set of double doors there lead into the study which could also make a fabulous snug playroom or maybe even a formal dining room as there is a further set of doors that lead from there back to the kitchen. Now, Welland Barn has four double bedrooms, three of which are in the oldest part of the house on this side. So let's take that mezzanine staircase and I'll show you around in the bedrooms that are on this side of the home. This striking staircase leads to this bright mezzanine area that's the perfect place to rest and unwind and relax. You've got those wonderful windows offering that natural flood of light coming into the space, but you've also got a run there of fitted shelves and storage. But perhaps by adding a desk, this would really be a wonderful place to work or study from home. From here, a doorway leads to the bedrooms and turning left along the landing, you'll find the first of the double bedrooms, a large room with a window overlooking the side aspects and those striking beams overhead. Then you'll find the family bathroom fitted with freestanding bath, you've got also a cabinet for storage and there's a bowl basin and a lavatory. Then you'll find another double bedroom again with those striking exposed timber beams. And then finally the principal bedroom suite. So let's have a look at that. The exposed stonework wall from the landing continues into this pretty room where you've also got that striking Juliet balcony there and the doors that overlook that very tranquil and pretty garden below. But you've also got in here storage cupboard and your own ensuite shower room. Returning to the hallway, you'll find a downstairs cloakroom, a large boot room and also a cupboard for coats. But then a door at the end opens into this magnificent annex room. What an impactful room this is. You've got that lovely timber flooring again with the underfloor heating and the vaulted ceiling here is really very striking. At the end of the room, you've got double French doors to open onto that terraced area. Also in this room, you've got a door there that leads back into the utility room that connects and links onto the family kitchen. So I can really imagine how that flow would work so well in here. At the end, the final door on this floor um, leads into a previously used dark room that's also got a sink and plumbing. But taking the spiral staircase to that landing area where again you could add further relaxed seating or maybe a desk or a great place to have as a studio, you'll also find a double bedroom here with its own ensuite shower room. Outside there is a gravel driveway suitable for two cars and then a winding path from there will lead you into this very enchanting and quite magical garden with many established plants. You've also got areas dotted around here to take full shelter or shade, including this pretty pergola area with grapevine growing overhead. You've also got a lawned area and the walled garden continues around with also that very pretty ornamental pond and the bridge over there that's illuminated. So I can really imagine how pretty it must be to be in here and relax and unwind at the end of a day. Now, Gretton Village is nestled in the county of Northamptonshire on the Rutland and Leicestershire borders. It's a vibrant yet rural village that's got community very much at its heart. With its village school, you've also got two pubs, 
and um, number of shops and cafe and of course you're very close to those market towns of Stamford, Oakham, Market Harborough and Uppingham. So if you'd like to arrange your viewing here of Welland Barn, we'd love to show you around. We've also got lots more photographs available on our website and on our social media. 